Hi everyone. Okay, so one of my new adventures is going to be um, trying to do thrift shopping for items that are worth a lot of money or way more money than they're being sold for in the thrift stores. Um, reselling on eBay, basically. I've been watching videos from a couple ladies that live in Las Vegas and I really feel like Portland has a lot of thrift stores and Goodwills that you can easily find a lot of stuff that will be worth money, hopefully. TNC Resale Shop is what it's called. Anyways, so we'll see how good this is. I'll be videoing in the store. Okay, here we are inside TNC Resale. There's a piece of glass here. I'm not sure. I don't think it's vintage. It doesn't really feel like it. I don't see any marks. It's really heavy though. But I think it's just flashed, not colored glass. Yeah, you can see the inside. You can see where the flash, just the where they just painted on, comes off. Interested in furniture because I don't have the room or the space to do that. Okay, so here's the hard goods aisle. It looks pretty sparse. I don't know if this is the first time I've been here in years, so I don't know if they actually. This is normal. Here's a little milk glass, salt and pepper shaker, but um, I can't tell what it says on there. But I don't think these are very high valued because there's a lot and it's got a big chip on it right there. So, oh, here's a sample Campbell soup mug. Um, come on, focus. But it's kind of small. And I don't see a price on it. So I don't, I'll look that up just to check later. I'm not gonna take it, but it might be worth something later. This is kind of cool. It's made in Poland. Huh, and it's a candle holder. Kind of nice. I don't see any chips. It's $3.99 though, and I'm not sure, but with the luster wear, I feel like that might be or something. So I'm going to take it and I'll look it up and see. Yeah. So Tara just brought me this little project piece. I oh, know actually, it's actually called, um, what's it say? It's the name of the person. It's this L-O-A. L yeah, but it's kind of chipped up. Hi. It's kind of chipped up, so I'm not going to take that. Here's a nice pretty plate, but it's from a company. And from my understanding, is plates, especially single plates, don't sell well, so I'm not going to take that either. Okay. So Tara just found this little teapot made in Germany. Let's see. Oh, my phone, I can't tell if my phone's focusing or I just can't see because my mask is in my face and on my eyes and my glasses have to be way over it so I can not be fogged up. It looks like it says Sconwald, Germany. It's only $2.99. However, it's personalized with the C. So, I just don't know if that would be worth anything. Um, I'm going to leave it for now. And I'll look it up, though, and see if maybe... Actually, I'm going to look it up right now and see if it's worth anything. Okay, so it's... There's a plain one that was like $20, but since this one has a C, I'm not going to get it because I feel like... It's too personalized, and I don't know if somebody would be interested in buying it. However, I just saw this really pretty, it looks like recycled glass. You know, it's really hard to see marks on stuff because I can't see with this stupid mask on and trying to move my glasses around and it fogs them. So it makes it really difficult to see anything. So I can't tell. If there's a mark, do you see a mark in anywhere on here, like a signature or anything that stamp that says the name of it? 
However, it's clear. I mean, it's kind of cool, like how the sculpting is. But, oh gosh, clear glass doesn't sell very well. So I feel like, I don't know. Without a, to be able to see a mark or anything, my glasses are fogging up again because I was just trying to get the stupid mask out of my eyes so I could see. But, I don't know. It doesn't feel chipped, but I'm going to pass it up because... I do see some, I don't know if that's smudge or if it's just like a flaw in it. Right there, that dark spot. So I'm gonna pass it up. Okay, Tara found a piece. It's not marked. I mean, it, it feels good, but oh, the edges. So on glass, that's not very well, like not good. The edges are a little sharp. So I can kind of feel the edge is not really sculpted and rounded. It's a little sharp. And so I think I'm going to pass on this one too because there's no markings and I feel like it's not going to be worth anything. This is cool. It's like a chili pepper. $2.99. I don't see a mark on it. Or a name. But you know what? I feel like this is something people would be interested in buying. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this and see if I can find out what it's worth. Okay. So here's another piece of clear glass, a plate. However, I mean, it's a good price, $1.99. Um, let's see. So I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Um, I'm not seeing any marks on it. And these, like I said, clear glass, I mean, it's pretty with the fruit on it like this. But from what Tiffany and Danny from the two YouTube videos, um, the Niche Lady and Thrifting Vegas, have said that these just don't sell well because they're really common, unfortunately. And if you'll notice in the Goodwills and stuff, you will see a lot of them and they just don't really sell online very good. So there's a, a metal piece here and there's no markings on it. And it's kind of, it's really scratched up and it kind of feels like really thin, cheap metal. It's not really that heavy. Um, and so just the way you can tell it's modern by the way it's made. And so it's not going to be worth resale value either. I'm not filming you. I'm just got your hands so you can turn it. Let me see the bottom of it. That's really pretty. Uh, I don't see any markings. Does it say something there? No. Let me see. Let me hold it up. I feel like it, I don't know, I feel, actually, oh yeah, this is super light. That means it's not good glass, it's modern and not good made. I mean, it's pretty, it's, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not transfer, I'm pretty sure it's painted. Oh yeah, that's painted, but unfortunately it's modern and really light, so it's not really valuable. Oh, that's a cute little thing, but I'm not exactly sure what it's for with the little holes in it. Maybe it was a hanging pot, but... Yeah, there's no markings. It's not going to be worth anything. See, this is a really pretty platter, too. And it's $5.99, which isn't bad, but it's... Let's see. Oh, it's made in Italy. That's good. So that might make it... Oh, but it's a hanging plate. And unfortunately, hanging platters are wall hanging things. I mean, it's beautiful. I don't know if it'd be worth money though, and it's $5.99. I really don't want to spend that much on something that I'm not sure what it's selling for. And that will probably take a while to look up. I mean, Made in Italy is good. And you can tell it's painted, it's not transfer. So I think for my first venture, I really don't want to spend that. But as I go on, I might, I'm going to look it up when I get home just to see. Um, and I'll look and see. So next time, or if it's here still, when I come back, I can look at it. But for right now, I just don't want to spend that much on something that I'm not exactly sure how much it's worth. See, this is cute too, but I'm positive. I don't think that's a dessert cup. I'm pretty sure it's probably supposed to have a lid, but you can feel it's kind of sharp. I mean, it's not like sharp where it's going to cut you, but you can feel like the sharpness of the edge. That means that it's modern. Oh, this looks like a treasure craft. Um, oh, I can't see it. 
Um, it looks like Treasure Craft, but I think because of the barcode that it's modern, I'm trying to look like Treasure Craft, because Treasure Crafts have dishes and stuff that have the cactus and the little pink flower. Hold on, I moved my glasses up so I can see. Um, made in China. Yeah, it's imported made in China. Green Bar, that's, Green Bar International is Dollar Tree. So that's literally just a little Dollar Tree item. And they're selling it at for a dollar. So it's not even, you know, something that can be profitable because it's literally the same price as it would be. This is kind of cool, but again, I don't think it's worth anything. I mean, it's from the Dominican Republic. I mean, that's kind of cool, but you know, I mean, it would, I might be able to sell it for like five bucks, which is only like a $3 profit, but then people have to pay shipping. So that's not really worth it either. Well, this green glass is really pretty. It's $4.99. It's heavy. It's got a good feel to it. The edges don't feel really sharp. But I don't know. I don't see any markings on it. And actually kind of looking at it, you can kind of tell by the way it's made that it's probably not any kind of expensive glass. So it's probably a modern piece too. These little plates are cool. Yeah, they're just Southern at home living, so they're modern too. Little made in China sticker. They're cute, but they're not valuable. Again here, we just have a lot of clear glass, which, you know, like I said, it's so common. You're going to see tons of these at the thrift stores and Goodwill. And they just don't sell because there's tons of them. This, yeah, that's really light. It's pretty, and it's transfer. Transfer means that they just transferred the color on. It's not painted. Again, there's a bunch of little plates. But like I said, unfortunately, collector's plates don't sell anymore. Nobody's really collects them or buys them. And you'll find tons of these. Just different ones, you know, in the stores. And they're wanting $3.99 each, which is kind of, you know, if you want to just buy, oh, it's $1.99. Sorry, I told you I can't see. Um, $1.99. Which isn't bad, but like I said, they just aren't worth any resale value anymore. This is kind of a cool candle holder. But again, $4.99. I'm not exactly sure how something like this would sell. So I don't want to pay that much for something that's not going to sell. This is cute. And this probably is really cute and would sell. $2.99, but the lid's missing. So that makes devalue, devalues it. Um, here's a pretty little, oh, this is a little piece of red pottery. Shoot. It says Seagram Flower, Niagara Falls, Canada. Oh, that's cool. But $3.99, you know, for a little tiny, I mean, literally this thing's like maybe four inches, three inches tall. Definitely not worth $3.99. Here's another project piece. Denise Ritchie, 1980. But unfortunately, you can see for a project piece, it's good, but because it's a little, you know, not perfect. I mean, I don't see any chips or anything. I don't know if that's gonna, I guess that doesn't deflect from the, I mean, it's 2.99, but again, it's like, you know, three inches tall. And just $2.99, I feel like there's not going to be enough of resale value for that. Okay, here we go. Keep going. Oh, this little apple dish is cute. But lightweight. Um, it's only 99 cents. I don't know. I mean, if I had been doing this for a while, I would probably pick this up because it probably would, you know, have some resale value. But... You know, no, you can kind of see like little bubble things that were the glass is just not good quality glass. So I don't think with the little air, little air pockets in there and stuff that it's going to be worth anything. This is really pretty. It's $2.99. It's made in China though. Dishwasher, microwave size. Yeah, it's modern. It's pretty, but it's a modern piece. So people aren't going to want to spend very much for those. And these pictures are cool, but I don't want to do pictures yet either because 
there. It takes a lot more to ship and try to make sure the glass doesn't get broke and all that stuff. Here's more. That's modern. You can tell by the edge. It's really sharp. They got, like I said, see, there's just tons of clear glass. And sometimes if you can find certain things that are, you know, marked as like Waterford or Princess House and some of those will be valuable. But this other stuff is just like lightweight, not expensive at all. The milk glass, a lot of people love milk glass. That's what these little things are. But like I said, they're a dime a dozen too. They're, you're going to find these all over the place. This little one though, this little brass piece is kind of cool. It's kind of dirty inside. Uh, I mean, it's $2.99. I just feel like that's too much for such a tiny piece. I mean, it's heavy and it's brass. So it probably, you know... I'm trying to see if there's a marking. I don't see a marking. So, I mean, somebody would probably pay money for that, but I'm just not sure yet. So I'm going to pass on that right now, too. Well, there's a bunch of these pictures. Somebody must have donated. Oh, now, see, this is cool. And this just looks like Mexican pottery. Yep. However, it's decor only, which is great. But it's like literally, it's about 18 inches in diameter and it's heavy. So that'd just be way too much effort to try to mail something like that because of the fact that it's heavy, the, it's gonna cost a lot to ship. And trying to make sure this doesn't break in shipping is not gonna be easy either. Now these are cute. They're only 99 cents. People like coasters and especially unique coasters. And this looks like, let me make sure there's none missing. And there's more than four here. So it's usually four or more. That looks like that one's all good. And it's only 99 cents. I mean, they're not like anything like spectacular as far as, you know, they're not vintage. But they're super cute. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them here. So I think for 99 cents, I mean, I can probably sell these for about 10 bucks. And they should sell. So I'm going to get those. This is cute, but it's really lightweight, so you can tell. And it's really dirty. Our, our, the base is missing, it looks like. And the ship looks really super cheap. So that's not anything special. Can you help me that one? So I see another vase up here I want to look at. Oh, this is really lightweight. Yeah, it's got a barcode. That means it's modern. And the glazing's kind of crappy on it, too. Let's see. Oh, this one's heavy. That's got a little signature. It means somebody made it. That's actually kind of nice. It is $2.99, but it's a bigger piece. I feel like I could easily get 15 bucks out of this. I'll have to look and just make sure. But I think, you know, the glazing's interesting. And it's made really well. I don't see any chips. Sorry, I'm filming my hand instead of thing. I don't see any chips or anything, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this one too. Okay. This is Susan Winget, made in Thailand. Um, why is that like stuck in there? Did they glue it? She got it loose. I'm gonna look up Susan Winget really quick just to see if that's worth anything because it's only $1.99. Okay, okay, so we found another one on the shelf. So there's actually two, um, the watermelon and the pears. And I looked it up and the watermelon by itself is 15 bucks. There is supposed to be one more. I think it says apples on it and it's bigger, the next set up. So unfortunately, I don't see that one, but I'm going to take these two because I believe I can sell these two for probably 25 to 30 bucks. So I just found these. There's two of them. They're really pretty. I mean, but I can't really tell what kind of flower that's supposed to be. Like here in the middle, the, the outside flowers are kind of pretty. But the insides, like, I don't know, they're kind of weird. They're only $1.99 and there is a mark but I cannot for the life of me figure out what that is. It might be Chinese characters, honestly. I think that's what it is, or Japanese. It doesn't say either way, and there's no signature. And they're, they're heavy, so I mean, they're good quality, they're nice. 
but I just don't know the resale value. So I'm gonna wait on these two. So these sugared fruits are, oh, that sucks. Okay, well, I, we're almost done, I think. Um, but it's $2.99 and I don't, I mean, they probably sell for like maybe 10 bucks. So this is really cute. If there is more, oh, you know what? It's a candle. Weird, yeah. I definitely don't want to do that for a candle. Okay, so Danny just bought, from the niche lady, just bought one of these in Vegas, I believe, or something really similar. And you can see here where it had, somebody at a vintage store sold it because you can see the plate. This is definitely vintage, I can tell. It's only $1.99. It's got beautiful little um, cherry blossoms. And it is marked, oops, sorry. It's marked with, oops, that's upside down. Ugh. It says cherry blossom, number 42. And I can't make out the rest of that. I mean, it sucks that there's only one, but considering this was in a vintage store, I wish I could see what they had it priced. But I'm gonna get this, cause it's only $1.99. Okay. Um, this is cute, but it's really lightweight. I don't, I think it's modern and not worth anything. Um, this is a nice candlestick. I, it's marked. I can't tell what the mark is, but, and there's only one though. If there was two, it would be worth probably looking up, but without it being two, that's just a little cheap thingy. Um, this is a cute little dish, but it's got a, yeah, it's just made in China. And it's, you see, if you can see, it's got a lot of crazing on it. That doesn't mean that it's old. That means that it's just been overheated or maybe put in a dishwasher. And so it made the ceramics up all crackle. And that's not something good. If it's something vintage, it's usually okay, but not in a modern piece like this. Okay, I think this is the last row we'll probably do. Um, so let me see. This is a nice little thing. Oh, hold on, I gotta put my glasses up again because I can't freaking see because they're fogging up again. I don't know how. Well, I don't think they wear glasses, so. Oh yeah, this is not really good quality. I think it's just transfer and it's kind of not really I don't see any markings. It might be a piece or something, but I'm just not seeing anything. I don't think it's really that valuable. That's just a regular plate. That's just common. Another little candy dish. Like I said, you can see these candy dishes all over for a lot. Sometimes some of this stuff is good. This just says it's aluminum. So it's not worth anything and it's really gross and dirty oh yuck oh, that's been in somebody's kitchen because it's got the kitchen greasy thingy on it well i need to move babe okay oh this has got a lot of wear and it's it is gibson made in china and yeah so that's common and it's got a lot of wear on it and it's tiny here's a little sugar bowl this is kind of pretty. I mean, it looks, oh, there's a big crack. It's like it looks vintage, but with that big crack, it's not going to sell. Yeah, this is another piece of Wallace. Oh, it's silver plated though. Wallace silver plate. Huh. I don't know. It's really spotted though. It probably needs to be cleaned. And it's $4.99. I don't want to take time with trying to clean silver. And I don't know exactly how much it's going to be worth, so I'm going to pass on that. This is cute. Oh, it's pencil signed and dated. 81. It's a nice little dish. It's kind of cool, but the flowers are not really painted well. I don't think it's plastic. It looks plastic. No, it's not plastic. But Oh, and then the handle's broken. It's not plastic. It's just kind of cheap. It's plastic. It's not plastic, Tara. But it's just badly painted. And broken. Oh, that's like, yeah. I was going to say, you can tell that's made in China because it's super light. And good glass is not super light. This is kind of a cool little canister thing. It does have a mark. Uh, it looks like an anchor. Or tea. I'm not sure. 
I can't, yeah, so I don't know what that is. I mean, it's cool, I like the shape, but again, it's clear glass. I mean, it is kind of cool. It's not that heavy, so it's probably more modern. So I don't think it'd really be valuable. And that would be hard to ship because it's, you know, super breakable. This is a nice heavy piece of glass, but again, the edge is kind of like sharp. So I don't think it's, I don't think it's antique or vintage. I think it's just modern. Okay. So I see a lot of these too. These little Dutch shoes from Holland. Oh, but this one's made in China. So it's a reproduction. So it's not worth anything. And here's some little plates, but I don't see the teacups. They do have these ones together. But they want $2.99. It says little Duchess Japan. I mean, they're really cool. It looks like it probably went to a kid's. These look like, oh yeah, because that's probably the plates. So it probably went to a little kid's tea set, but there's only two teacups and saucers and three plates. There's no teapot. I mean, if it had the teapot, I could probably get away with trying to sell it with all those pieces. But without the teapot, the, you know, the teacups and the plates are kind of useless, honestly. This is cute. Oh, it's made in England. It's kind of cool, but you can see it's broken. Yeah, see, there's another piece there broken. Unfortunately, oh yeah, a lot of it's broken off. That's too sad because that's really cute. This is just modern. And I think there's a crack in it too. And let's see. Oh, that's, that's plastic. Um, let's see. It's a shame that there's not a teapot with that because it's really cute. Oh, here's little ducks, but they're just, I think, I don't think it's real wood. I think it's like plastic looking wood. Um, these are, there's a set of four, but I don't know what they are. So if they had Bodum on them, they'd be worth money. The little Bodum cups like this, like sell for a lot, but I don't know what these are. I mean, there are six of them, but without any name or anything. I don't think they're going to be worth anything because I don't see any marks or any name. Sorry, I keep moving it over. I'm trying to look at it. I'm trying to look and see on the silver part if there's anything, but I don't see anything. So I'm going to pass on those. See, here's more of those little plates, which they're cute, you know, and they're only $1.99, but they just don't sell, unfortunately. Nobody collects them anymore. If I'm wrong, let me know, cause I'll pick them up for you. But from what Danny and Tiffany say in Vegas, they and they both do eBay stuff. They just don't sell. Oh, here's a little Batman bank thingy, but it's it's just tin and it's super short and looked like it had med boxers in it. So yeah, that's not really worth anything. Even though it says Batman, it's still. And it's all taped together, so. Oh. oh, here's a little teapot from a restaurant, Chinese restaurant, but look at how worn out it is. It's really worn out. Because sometimes diner and restaurant wear do sell, but, and it's $1.99. Yeah, it's pretty worn, and you can see on the bottom here, it's really worn out. Okay. Well, it's kind of a cute little shade thingy, but I'm not exactly sure which way it goes and what it would be used for, so. Okay, what's this? Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's chipped. Oh, and it's Pier 1. That sucks because Pier 1 sells good. But if you can see all the crazing on it, it's like really, really bad. And it's really chipped, so unfortunately. And they want $5.99. It's totally not worth that at all. Oh, um, what's this plate? Um, bitter herbs, eggs. What's it say on it? It says designed by... Oh, it looks like it's a Judaica. Yeah, that's cool. So it's a little Jewish plate. I thought so with the lettering on it, but I don't know if that'd be worth anything or not. 
and it's really heavy so to ship it would be expensive and hard to keep it in one piece um oh this is cute it's a little plate from new zealand that says kiwi it hangs but it's made in china so it's just a modern piece and a souvenir piece i mean it's cute but it's not going to have any resale value okay let's see here i'm gonna have to stand up because tara left me Ooh, to see this looks like just like a dollar tree thing it's kind of heavy i don't know it might have been i've seen that before it might even be party light so i have tons of that already this is a cute little dish but you know it's a dollar 99 I don't know exactly what it is. It's really tiny. You can tell by it in my hand here that it's just really tiny. I don't know exactly what it's for. So, well, this would be cool, but it's pretty beat up, unfortunately. So, I don't know if anybody's going to want to pay anything for that. Here's some little taper candle holders, or you can flip it around and be a votive holder. But again, I don't see any markings, so I don't think it's anything expensive. And, you know, like I said, the clear glass and candle holder stuff are really common. This looks like a little creamer, but it's made in China. So, and it's really lightweight, so you can tell it's not really quality glass. This is a nice picture. It's $3.99. It's not marked, but it's, oh yeah, it's not marked. I mean, looks like it's in good condition. Pretty rusty, like somebody just had it sitting on a shelf. But it's kind of plain. I mean, if it was like had flowers painted on it, I would probably get it because I feel like that would be more something somebody would want to buy. But I just feel... And it's super heavy. So it'd be a lot to ship. There's another piece up here. Again, there's a little mark on there. But $9.99, that's ridiculous. And look, it's like cracked. It's totally broken. And they want $9.99 for that. So these kind of glasses sell good. Again, we don't see a mark, but people like the blue. However, you need a set. And look, every single one of these is a single piece. So there's, this one's marked, but I can't read it. Um, oh, I can't see what that says. I think it's numbers. I can't tell. Anyways, but like I said, there's no sets, so they're not gonna sell for anything. This is cute. Probably be something for you like, but it's broken. So see what I mean by the clear glass stuff? That's just tons of candle holders and stuff that are like a lot, really common. Um, that you can tell, you can see those, I don't know what that is, scratches or just flaws in the glass. And so you can tell that this is not very well made. This is pretty, but I think it's Oh, it's a pro I think it's a project piece. You can kind of tell by the way it's painted, which isn't bad. I mean, the sunflower is kind of pretty. Um, oh, but see, it's chipped. So when you get stuff like this, it can't be chipped at all because people aren't going to want to pay money for things that are broken that are just hobby pieces. These are plastic, whatever they are. So see, there's that glass is kind of nice, but I think it's modern. You can tell by the way the transfer is on there, and it's been through the dishwasher, so it's kind of faded. Ooh, this is pretty. It's a dollar ninety-nine. This is really pretty. So, I know it's a dollar ninety-nine, and it's not that big. See, it's probably about maybe three inches, but I feel like look at how pretty that is. And it's probably just a hobby piece, meaning that somebody probably just made this homemade. But I think I'm gonna for dollar ninety-nine. I think I'm gonna do this because I can probably get about ten bucks out of this because it's really pretty. The glazing on there is beautiful, and it's got sparkles. I think this will sell good. So there's another cool couple plates down there. Um, but, you know, like I said, they're really heavy. And that would be really hard to ship. So, and that's a belt, but there's no belt thingy in it. So, unless maybe it's supposed to be a sconce thingy for a candle holder. I don't know. It's pretty, but it's it's got praying hands on it. That's kind of cool. But uh, it's just by itself. There's nothing else. I don't know exactly what it goes in. So I'm going to pass on that. I was trying to see if this is silver plated, but it's not. It's just really cheap. You can see it all worn off. The nut's all rusty. You know, the glass is smooth. So I kind of feel like this is, this probably is vintage. 
they do want $4.99, but with that rusty nut in it, I just, yeah, I just don't want to deal with trying to clean that. This pot is uh, heavy, but I think it's modern. I don't really like the way that it's made. It's kind of makes it look, I think it's just something they're trying to make look old, but it's not old. Okay, so that's a little fine piece, but I don't think, yeah, I don't think that's going to work anything. Candle, there's another little box thing here. Yeah. Oops. Sorry, I almost dropped it. Okay, so it's just a little jewelry box. It looks like it was like a chi Japanese, Chinese restaurant. Ja yeah, Chinese, or not restaurant, but something, a jeweler. So maybe a Chinese jeweler, but it's really plain. I know red's a big color for Chinese, but oh, this is cute. And it's a Calico Kitty, so it's kind of cute. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to take that for myself. Because <laughs> it looks, reminds me of my little Calico Kitty that died last year. That's cute. But, you know, it's just a hobby piece, too, that somebody made in 1990, 1919. Or, I'm sorry, 2019. 1919. So, yeah, that's not worth anything. It's cute, though. It's sad somebody's pro project that they probably gave somebody and they donated it. Um, this little apple thing is kind of cute. A lot of people like apples, but I feel like it's, I feel like it's like that plastic wood stuff. That's not really worth anything in modern. See, this says made in China, so I don't think that it's that old. I think it's one of those things that's made in China to look old, but isn't old. Um, oh, this is broken. I mean, it's kind of cool, but let's see. That says made in China so it's another thing that's not really worth much oh this is kind of cool oh the edge is really like ooh. I think somebody had this in the kitchen and the edge has gotten water damage or something can you see that which is sad because I'm pretty sure this piece is vintage I don't see a signature or anything but I can tell from the wood and from the trivet thingy here that it's probably well, there's this little plastic thing I don't know what that is Maybe it's not that old, but it's like, it's way too dirty. There's no way to fix that. And the wood's cracked, so. And again, here's another super common candy dish that's everywhere. And, the, and you can tell it's more modern because of this stuff. Oh, too bad the turtle isn't here. Shoot. These go really well. Like, people love these little Mexican turtles. I have one myself, actually. And it's a bummer that the turtle body isn't here because I totally get this. So here's a pretty little cup. It says dark. I don't know if maybe that means dark coffee or dark chocolate, but you can see the crazing and the cracks in the bottom. So fortunately. Oh, I was looking at this little pear. That's again, a cute little pear. I like the, oh, Tara showed me that that has a name, which is fine. I think it's more modern. It says, I can't, oh, 2000. No, it says 5 Oh, oh, so that is vintage. So I guess it's not real modern. That kind of fooled me because it's not really that heavy. But like I said, there's a lot of crazing and cracks in the bottom of it. So unfortunately, this is really cute, but it's modern. I mean, there's, it's really lightweight. I mean, it's pretty, but I don't think it's going to be worth money. So I'm not going to mess with it. Here's a little wall pocket. That's got a cool card, car on it. Sorry, a little wall pocket. But you can see again, it's really, I don't know if you can tell, I can see it, but it's really crazed. I don't think you can see it in the camera, but if you look right along here, it's really crazed. Um, okay, we need to finish up here because um, this is only 99 cents, but it's not ceramic. I think it's, wait, is it? It's another project piece. It's only 99 cents. I don't feel any damage. I mean, it's really pretty. Does that feel ceramic to you? I don't think. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to get it and maybe just sell it with this other little cute piece. So, because it's only 99 cents. So, this is nice too. Oh, but it says dishwasher microwave safe. That means that it is modern. Because, you know, they didn't have those things back in the vintage days. Oh, look at this little strawberry salt and pepper shaker. And it's made in Indonesia. 
Is there another one? Oh, shoot. See, if there was another one, I would totally get it because this would totally, a set would be worth something. But since this isn't vintage, at least I don't think it is. No, because the tube thing is plastic, and so I don't think it is. I think it's more modern. It's super cute, but without a mate, it's not going to go for anything. These are Florentine, made in Japan. They're 99 cents each, though. You know, these probably... I would have to look them up, but I don't want to mess with just a bunch of plates by themselves. So, these are totally common. Those are like, every florist in the world has those. Again, another little candy dish that's like super common. This one's not even that heavy, so you can tell that it's not really vintage. Um, more candy dishes and stuff. Um, this is, oh, this is cool. But one is $8.99 and two, super, super heavy. That would cost a fortune to ship. Okay, a couple more things up here and then we're gonna be done with this video. And I'm sorry, the camera works so bad. It's my first time. So I know it's not the greatest. This is kind of cool. Um, I can't tell what that says, but again, there's just one, so one's, oh, this feels really heavy and like really nice, but I, it's only one, again, so it's not going to be, oh, does this go with this? No, that says made in China. This is just a little, I wish it went with that little kitty set, because that'd be cute. That would have been great. That's just a plain sort dish. This is just a florist piece. It's really super light, so you can tell. Okay, I think that's it. These might be vintage, but I don't know. So, I don't know if they're vintage or not, and they're, you know, I don't know what they're for. Okay, well, that's just regular florist glass, too, and so are those. Oh, I did miss this thing up here. Oh, wait, that one's the one I looked at that's broken? Or no, it is. It's really worn and broken, so yeah, I'm done even look at it. Okay, so that's it guys. Um, again, sorry my camera work was a little shoddy for my first try, but I'll be doing a lot more of these, so you'll see a lot more. Okay, so sorry the lighting's not that great over here, um, but this ceiling post, I really had to set everything up so the cats don't knock stuff down and break stuff. Um, so this is what I ended up coming home with. These items here, the two containers, this plate and the coasters um ignore this this is just something that i pre-owned and i was just looking up i'm not selling it i'm just looking at it so anyways the items that i passed up are the um the sorry i wrote it all down so the pictures of all the ladies um i don't think i looked and recorded the um the name of the artist, unfortunately, but they look like they could be Harrison Fisher's and they do sell for about $40 each. So now I'm kind of wishing I would have looked and seen and checked them there. The Campbell soup mug, I should have got. They're selling for $17.99. Um, the gold trim plate with the pretty flowers, I only saw one listed and it was only $11.99. So that definitely wasn't really worth it. Um, the glass jar pitcher is, um, matches exactly an anchor hawking. Um, and there was only one listed for $25, but none sold. So I don't know if that would have even been worth it either. And the other thing was the green apple dish, which looks like a hazel atlas. Um, but they're mostly sold in sets on eBay. Like I didn't see any singles and the sets only sell from like 11 to $18. So that wasn't really worth it either. Okay. So the dolphin. So if you look carefully, you see that little hook. He's supposed to have a little dish that hangs down on, um, like a chain kind of thing and a little dish that's supposed to, you're supposed to put the candle here and in the dish you put oil. So I guess he's an oil burner. However, there are several of these that have been sold and listed by themselves. And um, he, I think I can list them and sell them for about $14.99, 15 bucks. So $14.99 I'm gonna do just so. I like doing the 99, it just makes people think that it's cheaper. Anyways, um, so that is how I'm doing that. This chili pepper, the hand blown glass chili pepper is um, when I looked it up, I couldn't really find like a name. 
Um, and there was a bunch of similar ones and smaller ones that are ornaments and stuff. But I found one comparable that I think might be the same for like 25 bucks. So I'm going to list it for that. Um, the coasters here, the um, handmade Indian coasters. Um, you know, I paid 99 cents. And I can actually sell these. I saw exactly the same sets that are not even like I looked at every single thing. This is all none of them are missing any little pieces at all. And there was a couple other sets that were not complete, didn't have all six that were missing pieces um, that they were selling for like, um, you know, around 15 bucks or so or a little less than like $10. So I'm going to sell this one for 15 and then my let's see um so my hand thrown pottery piece right here it's kind of gray and brown i'm sorry like i said the the coloring is really bad i should have yeah there we go there we go now you can see it so it's gray and brown it's hand blown um your hand made you know on a and it's you know it's got initials here um I looked, so of course, you know, because this was handmade, there's not one like exactly like it. I paid $2.99 for it, and I believe I can sell it for about $15. Oh, and the glass thing, I paid $2.99 for it too. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Um, these little pots, they're really cool. If you can see, this one has gold leaf on it. So that's really cool. And this one has gold sparkles in it. And I did see a couple that look similar, and like I think one was bigger um anyways so these two little pottery things are um you know i think i can sell each piece i was thinking about both these for 14.99 or 15 bucks but i think i can sell each piece because when i looked at the other ones comparable to these sizes and stuff they were about 15 bucks um this one though i'm not sure because it doesn't it feels I don't know it kind of feels like wood it doesn't really feel like ceramic but this one definitely is you can feel it you can see it so I don't know I might just sell this one for $19.99 I only paid 99 cents for it but um or I might just sell them together because you know they they comp, comp they look good together so I might like sell them together for like you know 25 or try to do it for like 34 or 30 sorry 29.99 and you know we'll see if they sell um okay so then we have the pot so i thought it was cherry blossom but it's not and i i wish the the tag hadn't been ripped off um so there's a lot of these and a lot that have been sold a lot that have been sold in like they had more plates but um if we look again at the back so this is it's called metlocks and it's um pepper Mill pepper farm. Anyways, it's peach blossom is what it says. That these are peach blossoms. So, like I said, they are vintage. They are really good um, plates. There's a lot of them that have been sold. So I'm selling this one for about 15 bucks um, by itself. And I think I'm pretty sure I can get that out of it, hopefully, because a lot have been sold. Like I said, singles, sets, everything. And these are. Um, I looked them up, and they are. Did I miss these? Oh, yeah. They're called Susan Winget Two-Piece Harvest Fall um, Pear and Watermelon. So they come in a set of four. So there's two sizes bigger than this. Um, one's an apple and one's... I can't remember what the other one was. But anyways, um, they I can sell them together for probably like $29.99. Um, or, yeah. So I can, I was going to sell them together or I can sell them to, um, separate for like, you know, 15 bucks separate or $30 together. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do them, but I'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, so that is my haul. That's what I got. Um, sorry, I kind of had to do it all in here because there's that. Yeah. You see how beautiful blue and iridescent. So that's why he will sell despite the fact that he's missing his little thing there. Um, but anyways, so I will keep you posted and let you know when I get everything listed and how everything sells. Thanks, y'all. Have a good day.